New from Kenner's Star Wars collection, the Millennium Falcon that you put together. Batteries not included. Nice landing, Han Solo. Uh oh, come on, Chewbacca. Stormtroopers are coming. Action figures each sold separately. Got them on radar. I'll fire the laser cannon. There's even a hidden storage hatch. Ready for takeoff. Jump to light speed. For God. On to the Death Star. New Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Action figures each sold separately from Kenner. Hello, welcome to Blavis Toys, and yes, look what I've got, Millennium Falcon. I've had it quite a while, I've been getting, the, gathering the bits to get it complete. Um, we've got the dish, we've got the clicky cannon, cockpit with a glass. I'm going to go through all the bits and just let you know what to find and what to uh, what to look for when you're getting the new the new bits. If you've got an incomplete one, which they mostly are these days, when you find them. Just, I'm just going to go through the bits. I'm going to fix what I don't have here. The colouring, this colouring, as you can see, it's dirty as well. But I, I think that gives it character. You can clean it. I'm, I'm going to give it a clean. Uh, you're not going to do much about the staining, about the yellowing, but I think it gives it a bit of character. I'm not so bothered about that. I just want to get it complete. So obviously you've got your you got your three part um, dish there, which is good. Now your cannon, your quad lasers at the top. Always check to see if these are, are there. They're attached. They're nearly always broken, and always make sure when you're buying one of these that the pegs are not broken because the pegs always break on those. I'm not I'm not so happy with it. It's a bit it's a bit bent but it's, it's not a problem. It does click. You've got your glass bit there which should, does lead down so I'm gonna open this. It does lead down into the gunner chair there. So what we've got in here uh, we've got the table always easy to get I've got a spare one of those if anybody needs one of those um, I've taken the legs off which I'll talk about in a bit I do have the ball and the original string with the arm and the ball and it is the palatoy ball which is the, the smooth ball the kind of one is a disco ball I think Palatoy did use a disco ball as well, but uh, it's just nice to have the the variant ball there. So I have one strut, and I've just got the other one too. So I've got two struts now. This is what's leading to this video. It's just getting that last strut, um, which leads to the. So the ramp there, which is damaged. I, I, could, I could do with getting a replacement for that. When I when I got this, it was you can see it was all sellotaped together. It's cracked down there. But I have glued that together, so that should be okay. Obviously, those go. Those ramps, those struts go into ramp there. Like so. So that's 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 complete. I, I'll push them back in in a bit, but that is complete. Um, your cardboard, also make sure that's that's good as well. No, these I, I always like to um, if I get one of these. First, of all, I'll give it a shake see if there's any any weapons in the front. But but if you've heard about the story that somebody took one apart once and there was a note inside saying, if anybody reads this note, please send me a Millennium Falcon. So the guy that was building these, putting these together, in Palatoy, um, put a little note in there. He must have done hundreds of these put every day and he never got one. So bless him. I hope he got one in the end. <laughs> It must have really wanted one if we put a note inside. So I always check to see if there's a note in. There wasn't one in this, unfortunately. Every time I get one, I try and see if there's a note. It's been nice, a nice little story if there was. So yeah, there's that. There's also the smugglers 
hatch as well, which, uh, as you know, fits onto the top part. Uh, I do have two stickers missing. I have repurposed all the stickers for this. Uh, the engines I've put, I've found original stickers for the engines. All three original stickers there, uh, and I stuck those on. Those didn't have stickers. So we've got uh, the two stickers that need to go on there. So I'll be doing, I'll be sticking those on to make that look complete. And the legs, as you can see, they're quite worn and I don't want to bend them back into position because they have got to be straight. They've got to be straight for them to go inside and hold up the Vulcan if you want it standing up. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to get these in hot water, bend them back into shape and see if we can do anything with those. There's uh, obviously two, two of those. So I've got to, I'll go and do that now. And then uh, we'll come back, fit them in, see if, if see if it works. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to heat them up. That's not too bad. That one. Um, that one's bent a bit. So weren't, they weren't strong enough to take the pressure of the the weight of the Falcon. So I'm going to do I'm going to do those two. And we're going to put them back inside the holes of the falcon. I don't want to really tip it over, but uh, as you can see, I want to go back inside there. So there we go. We've got them in the boiling water now. We're going to uh, straighten them out and put them in the cold water. I'm just going to pick it out, straighten them out as much as I can. So that's on that side. That one's not too bad. I'm gonna, gonna put that one back in and do this one. Alright, so straighten that up as much as we can. Put it back in the put it in the cold water. So there you go, that's not too bad. That side needs doing again. So let's try that side. So I'm uh, trying to pull it as far as I can and then put it in the cold water. There we go. So you go. So I'm going to get them back on the Falcon then. So I've now stuck these two down. They're a bit darker than those, but they are, they are legitimate stickers. And thank you to John Baldry for sending those two. I just needed the two. Um, yeah, the. You can tell the difference, but it doesn't really matter because this is a hunk of junk. <laughs> I've just stuck it down with this bull glue, all-purpose glue, which um, I've had for a few years, and it's 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 uh, it's been brilliant. I wouldn't use it on things like plastics and things like that, but uh, for little stickers, things like that, perfect. So right, I've put one in. I'm going to put the other one in, but I'll remember that that goes to the back. The long bit goes to the back because it clips on there. I've seen a lot of people putting them up all the way around. So let's get that in. There we go. There we go. So they're really tight in there now. Very tight. <laughs> I can't get them out. So they're so tight in there now. But, as you can see, they're holding on there. Holding on there now. So hopefully now if we get the front. All right, let's get that level now. And there we go. There we go. Not moving at all. So that's that fixed, as you can see. Little pegs are in there. Uh, another thing about the ramp, I forgot to tell you, is I always make sure 
you've got this little peg. You've got two underneath, but that one always breaks off. So this is the reason why I've not got rid of this ramp as yet. It's got crack down there, but it is glued together. But it has that little clip there. That is most important if you're buying or looking for another ramp. So we're gonna uh, pull that down now. I'll push the, I don't wanna push it too hard because as I said, it is damaged, but I'm looking for a replacement on that, but as I say, it's got that and there it goes. Fantastic. There we go, put that on the back on there. We have complete. And we have a wall mount coming very soon. Hopefully, we'll be getting an X-Wing one as well. So there we go. Nice, complete Falcon. Yes, it's got a bit of yellow in. It's all complete. It's all lovely. Ready for Chewy and Han to go in there. Oh, Lando and nine num who knows there we go one complete falcon finally so thank you for watching and i hope this helped out if you're looking for to complete a falcon or getting a falcon like this best toy best star wars toy best play set all those good stuff um i'll put the I put the ramp on as well, just to make it the hatch. So there we go, that's going back on there. I always do that side first and then that side. So I think that is now one of the prized positions of my uh, my vintage collection. Uh, it won't fit in the Death Star, unfortunately. I wish it would, but it doesn't. But there we go, can't have everything. So thank you for watching, and until next time, may toys be with you.